So I've been having a lot of questions as to how I built this Lego marble pump. For those of you who don't remember or don't know, this pump takes average sized marbles and pumps them up here, around there, into there, and back up the tower. Alright, so but I'm sure some of you, or at least those who are interested in this video, have seen my other one where I just show how it works. But what I didn't show is the technicalities, basically what goes on in there, how the engine works, that turns me turning in this gear into moving marbles up and down this tower. Well, not down, just up. doesn't work the other way. Okay, so let's just get straight to it. This spins in a clockwise direction. Okay? Just remember that. It can't spin the other way. And um, there are two parts to it. Basically, the tower and the engine itself. Actually, no, three parts. Yeah, I would say the engine is its own part. Then the tower, this section. And then this part, which does not really have to be built in any specific way. Um, and by this part, I mean this, which doesn't have to be this shape. As long as it makes sure that the marbles come up here and end up down there, it can be in any shape you want it to. So it could, you know, go in spirals and circles, up and down hills, however you want it, that's up to you. As long as, in the end, the marbles go from here, back and there. And for simplicity's sake, I made mine just be as straightforward as it can possibly be. Alright, and as I take this thing apart, marbles are going to be falling in and out, and I'm gonna, it's going to be a mess, so bear with me here. I'm going to try to take out as many as I can before I start taking the rest of this apart. And there are a few left in there. Uh, next thing you want to do, I'm going to take this apart piece by piece. Okay, so. We've taken the tower off. This. Well, half of the tower off. This is the other half. Okay. So, we have this. And as you can see, well, you probably can't see. It's a little dark. Um, yeah, flashlight's not helping too much. Ah, uh, there we go. You see the marble in there. And all of the marbles, that's where the marbles come out of. That's where all of the marbles come out of. Now they go in here, into this gray area, and they come out here where the marble is. Okay? And you can see I have a little incline there, the brown piece, right there. Sorry, I don't have three hands, I can't hold the flashlight and point at the same time. But basically, all the marbles come down here into this incline, and when I spin this, they go under and come up. You see, that's the marble that just went under. And you can just keep feeding this, and it pushes pu pushes the marbles back up. It's very simple. And how it works, how it actually works, is basically how it works. You want to have this incline there to make sure to guide the balls downward. And I'm just gonna take this tower off. It's kind of getting in the way. Basically, you have two walls. You have the wall right here and the wall right here. And I left these uh, these areas without walls so that this thing can move around. Next, uh, I'm just going to take this off, this gear. The only purpose this serves is so it's er easier to turn. Th As for the engine itself, if I take this off, you can see this is all it is. Um, I could take this off and just leave this on. And it's just a gear with this attached to it. And this is attached by a simple joint that spins. And where you attach it on this wheel, you, you probably want to have a gear like this. I've tried other ones, they didn't work as well. But basically, where you attach it depends on your machine, how big it is. You're pretty much going to have to try most of the holes to find the best working area. Because, for example, if I put it right here, then it jams a lot. Like, my particular machine jams a ton. But if I put it on the right, 
it runs very smoothly and that just goes in there and how you build this it really doesn't matter as long as the gear is obviously not scraping on the ground and this thing is off the ground you make sure to have a smooth floor for it to glide on and basically you just spin this and the thing moves with it yeah, and what happens is again the marble would come in here and goes under and pushes this up the tower then it goes back picks up another marble under up the, up the, well it's not supposed to fall over this thing pushes marbles up and down okay it takes the marble on this side pushes it up here takes another marble pushes it up here it pushes the marble up you can see it looks a lot more complicated from the outside than it actually is it's very simple how you build a tower is up to you it really depends on what design you're going for you could try to copy mine uh, if you have all the pieces also this piece is pretty important like I've mentioned before talking to myself do 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 antisocial activity da, na, na, na. forgot how I put this together na 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 blooper 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 so very simple not much to it I hope this video helped all of you guys and just as a final look of what this thing looks like I'm gonna just give a quick close-up shot so for any of you trying to mimic this design in particular and okay hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a nice day